everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kay Janelle and if you are new here make sure to subscribe I will be posting videos as often as I can and I say that because as some of you guys may know I am in nursing school so you know I'm gonna be real with you guys nursing school equals no life so I'm going to try to at least post twice a month you guys don't hold me accountable but I will try to at least post twice a month FYI a lot of people have asked me to make videos on nursing school so you guys can look forward to that I'll probably make one on like how to study what to expect because I know I went into nursing school not knowing what to expect I went in with a blind eye you guys so We'll talk about that, but just make sure you subscribe. So today's video will be on highlighting and contouring the face, you know, getting that snatch look going. I also will be adding a little flair to it by adding a red bold lippy at the end as well. But I also want to put out a little disclaimer before I get started because I don't want nobody coming for me. But this is the way that I personally highlight and contour my face. I think it is very simple and easy and you know you want to keep most things like that in life so if you're interested in this look stay tuned i went to ulta about three weeks ago and i picked up some new products and as i was looking around ulta i saw this super cute display there and it was just so girly and super unique so i just had to try some of their products and i also saw that it was owned by a black lady y'all so Go ahead, girl. I also did a little bit of research into this brand, and I saw that it has actually been around for a while. I'm just late to the party, y'all. So the name of the brand that I picked up is called Beauty Bakery, and I picked up these two items. And so I picked up a setting powder, and it is called Flower, and it is basically a translucent setting powder. And then I also pick up this lippy, and it's called Cake Pop, and the color is Apple Acai. So this was $24 and this was $14. I think that is an okay price. Um, I know this is a mini lippy and it's kind of small to be $14. But the translucent powder, I don't think that's a bad price because the Laura Mercier setting powder is, I believe, $39. So, you know, if it works well, it's worth it. That's how I look at it. So I mentioned those two products because as you guys can see, I haven't even opened them yet and I will be using them in this look today. So I guess it's kind of like a first impression slash highlighting and contouring video. Also, I'm starting off with my face more than halfway done. I have on my foundation and lashes and everything. And also on my lids, I use my, I use my Anastasia Soft Glam palette. I actually had this palette while well, I got it three months ago about three four months ago actually and i haven't even used it so i just used it last weekend and it's bomb i love it you guys i'm rambling let's get started into this look if you guys haven't watched my last makeup video which is also my first video on youtube i will link it down below and the reason i am mentioning that video is because i talked about how i use two different concealers and the concealers i use are my mac studio finish concealer and nc45 and then i also use my maybelline fit me concealer in medium i already have on my matte concealer under my eye but next i'm going to be using my maybelline fit me concealer and this is the concealer that i will use to highlight i will be taking the concealer and applying it to the top of my forehead as well as underneath my eye and then on my chin as well i will not be applying the concealer down my nose and that's just a personal preference of mine i feel like i already have a big nose and you guys you guys see it already so i'm not applying that down my nose And as you guys can see how I did my concealer, I did it in like a triangle fashion. Um, I think it looks like a diagonal triangle, which I'll think. But you just want to blend everything out just like I did this eye. So 
So everything is all blended out. And as you guys can already notice, I'm sure it already looked brighter. So next I'm just going to be applying my translucent powder. And this is how the Beauty Bakery packaging look. Do I have this upside down? Oh my god. Get it together, girl. I'm applying this translucent powder basically on the areas that I highlighted. And I'm trying to figure out this packaging, y'all. So this is how it looks in the inside. So I'm just going to dump some in the lid. And then I'm taking this. Okay, I got it everywhere, y'all. But I'm taking this makeup sponge and then I'm applying it to the areas that I highlighted. And this is how the powder looks. I don't know if I just apply a lot, but it looks kind of thicker to me. It looks thicker than my Laura Mercier setting powder. So I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild buffer brush and then blend everything out. So this is the powder blended. It don't look bad it don't look bad at all but I'm not completely sold on it I will have to like give it a wear test and see if it actually works because that's the most important but it don't look bad and then also I will have to like you know take flash photography to make sure it's not there just sitting there so finally guys I will be contouring my face and I'm using my Anastasia contour cream kit I'm going into the color chocolate and I'm also using this like angled brush to do so and with this part I'm going to show you guys because I feel like I can show better than I can explain So next I'm just taking my blender and I'm just blending everything out. You want to make sure this is blended because you don't want a harsh contour. I'm finished with the cream part of my contour and it's very simple and light but I want to go in with a powder as well and I'm using the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetic Palette and I'm going into the color Brownie Bite and this is just what I do. I put on a cream contour first and then I put on a powder contour. I did it again, y'all. This is my face contoured, and as you guys can see, my face just looks slimmer overall. It just looks super defined and slimmer, and that's what you want. I finished my makeup, and the only thing I did was put on eyeliner as well as mascara and a little bit of highlighter. I put on the Fenty Trophy Wife. So next, I'm going to be applying my lipstick. So this is the lipstick, you guys. I was not kidding when I told you it was small. It's probably... It's a little bit smaller than my index finger.
So let's open it and see. And this is all you get for $14, y'all. Hopefully this formula is good because what? But I'm going to be applying this on my lips and let me zoom in so you guys can see. And some people like to use a lip liner before red lipstick. You know, I go for the kill. I just start applying. This is the final look, you guys. My face is snatched. It looks good. I like the red lipstick. And you know, it's not like a drying formula. It's matte, but it's not dry at all. It's actually very creamy. So I like it. And it's cute. It's just super cute. Oh my god. Okay. Come through Beauty Bakery. I like it. I like it. But as stated, I will have to give the um, the setting powder like a wear test. But I like it. I just like it overall. So my first impression of Beauty Bakery, I want to try more. So I'm going to try some more stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. This is my highlight and contour. As you guys can see, it is very simple and easy. I don't do a lot with it. I go straight to the point. And it looks good overall. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy, yet chatty tutorial. And then I hope you guys learn how to contour and highlight the K Janelle way. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.